What's up, YouTube? Rob here, bringing you episode 15 of my Aiden Carter Shortstop Pro to the show here in MLB The Show 16. And today in this video, we will be facing off against the Jacksonville Generals, I believe. Yep, Generals. That's double-A affiliate of the Chicago White Sox. Carter has his first at-bat, and that will be dribbled over the head of the pitcher, but the second baseman scoops it up in time, throws out Carter to end the inning. Or this half of the inning, I should say. Uh, Alright, so this video will probably go up Wednesday or Thursday. Today's Tuesday while I'm doing that. I'm recording this right after the video that does go up today on Tuesday. So let's see, that'll probably, that'll probably get a couple more videos out this week. But be done with school after Friday, so we'll be back to relatively daily videos, I think. That's my goal for the summer is to have, uh, to be more consistent, obviously, than I've been. So there's that. It's finals week, so it's kind of the usual stressful studying, papers, exams, all that not-so-fun stuff. So that's pretty much a quick update on what I've been doing. So I guess in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys have been up to lately. As Carter is up next with bases loaded, and he hits that to deep right center field. And that will score at least two runs. Runner gets to third, we're safe at first. Okay, so Carter excited there that he's continuing his hitting streak. Peter O'Brien is up next. Still only one out, we're up 4 nothing now. And the pitch is hit between third and short. We are going to take a chance and get all the way to third, and we're safe. And that'll be risk number one in this video that we will take that will be successful. Kind of carrying over from last video where we did a couple base running things that normally would not work out for us, but they did. So I think I'll probably name this episode Taking Risks or something along those lines. I usually think of titles for the videos during the video themselves, so is that we're going to tag up from third as that ball is hit to left field, we're going to be safe. There shouldn't have even been a need for a throw, but they do anyway. Alright, so next pitch, or first pitch to us actually. We're up to 6-1 to one now, and that'll be another hit to right center field. They split the gap. This time it'll be a double. The runner will score all the way from first. No, we're going to keep going. We're going to be safe at third. No, uh, 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 should have. Okay, this, maybe this risk won't work out, but I didn't realize the third baseman was overthrown there. And I would have been safe with a triple at third, but kind of stopped last second. I should not do that. I should just keep running. Alright, so that's risk number two that partially, I guess, or didn't really work out too well. As that's a ground ball to Carver at third. Alright, so that's the end of this game. We do go on to win. By a score of 7-1, to one, we have two hits, a double, three RBIs, and a run. All on four hits. So that was another productive game for Carter. Well, you always hope to get a good outing from your starting pitcher, but this man went Good. above and beyond in this Move one. along to the next game, the game right about now. I thought he really pitched out. Exclusive home for so, League Baseball. MLB day game after a night game. Surprised we didn't get a day off, but it's okay, because we've missed a few games from the in that second injury. And exactly specify that last video that at the end of the game two videos ago. Carter got re-injured again. It was a different injury, I believe, but again, it was only a minor one. We missed a couple games, came back last video, and have been back ever since. I believe the same week, just later on. So, again, if Carter can stay healthy, that would be great. Because I think, if I remember correctly, after I stopped recording this video, I checked where he was in league standings, because he was first in average and first in a couple other categories as well. But I think since he's missed a few games, he's missed out on some at-bats, so I think he's not qualified anymore, but he will be soon again, I hope. Because he was leading the league in average 
by pretty big margin. So we throw on to first. I mean, keeping an eye out for that. But more or less, I'm hopefully more for a call up soon, whether it's AAA or the majors. So we'll see. That's some videos to come. So we're going to just focus on the moment of this game. As there's a ground ball to Carter at short, we're going to throw on to first. No big deal. That will end the inning. Pitch inning and just like that the side is retired nothing across here this half of the inning all right we'll head now to the home half of inning number three the generals lead it one to nothing. still or still down one nothing i think i said we're up jesus one nothing sucre before now we're down two nothing one in, one catcher jesus sucre one up next one on one out two one, one count pitcher ready to deliver and that pitch will be lined right to Carter. Flip onto Arias for no reason there. So we're going to come up for our second at bat. We're 0 for 1. And the pitch. That is lined right to the first baseman. More self defense there. So we're 0 for 2, Sucre's up once more, 2 outs, 0 on count, runner on first, and the pitch, grounded to Carter, I think probably could have done a double play there, but it's okay, we get the out there, and that retired side, so the double play wouldn't have happened, I need to pay attention when I say how many outs there are. So we're up now. We can tie this game with the hit to the gap again. First and second, one out. And we're going to use some showtime. We guess location right, and that will be a base hit. One run will score. The other run will get to third. We will just barely get to second base. So it's an RBI double for Carter. We're only down by one run now. Peter Bryant up next. 2 1 count. And the pitch. Grounded back to the mound. We're going to go over to third. What am I doing? Oh, the guy's still at third. Never mind. And we botched that. Bad decision. I forgot this guy on third. But anyway, so a little. Base running slip up. We're still taking risks. We're pushing the envelope a little bit too far, but we're still risking stuff anyway, so it's okay. And again, we're in the minor, so it's learning curve. Throw on to first. No problem. Another infield assist. Our reaction is getting better. Two one, top of the eighth. Let's make a diving stop. Slow motion right to us. We're gonna flip on the first. We will just be beat out by the runner. I think before this game I upped his arm strength a little bit, so that's why I was there a little bit faster. That still needs to go up a little bit more, but work towards that as we go. And then it'll be a base hit over the shortstop set into left field. The run will score. Runner will stay at second. Base hit. Another RBI, we knock this game up at two runs apiece. Who would you catch Peter O'Brien? And the pitch. Grounded between short and third. Runner will score. Let's see, will he be safe? Nope, and he will get thrown out just in time. So it was a great throw by the outfielder. As we could have taken the lead there. It's okay. This is Arius up next. And that is a base hit right up the middle. Middle round third. We're going to score easily, so we will break this tie. Go ahead, run. Six training points earned. There we go. And we do move on to win this game. Score of three to two. Double, two RBIs, one run, two hits on in four at bats so i'm gonna end this one here if you guys enjoyed the video please leave a like comment share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you all in the next video i think this fellow right here would seem to be the logical choice